Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, has been defended for her recent actions as one TV host praised Meghan for handling a really threatening environment when she appeared alongside William and Kate in public. So before we get right into the story, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you're very welcome as we get right into it. Australian morning TV host Sylvia Jeffries has heaped praise on Meghan Markle for how she has endured a really threatening environment in the UK over the past week. The Today Extra anchor pointed to the outing last week when Meghan and her husband Prince Harry stood side by side with Prince and Princess of Wales outside Windsor Castle. Meghan was courageous to put on a united front with William and Kate in public according to Miss Jeffries. Last Friday, Meghan and Harry joined Kate and William for a surprise walkabout to see Flora's tribute to the late Queen outside Windsor Castle. The four royals then spent 40 minutes speaking with public well-wishers who had gathered outside the castle. The 36-year-old TV viewers um, said, I can't help but think that would have been a really threatening environment for Harry and Meghan or at least daunting. She took aim at a criticism of the couple, saying that I am starting to feel sick about the negativity around Harry and Meghan this time. This comes as the Sussexes had faced backlash over the timing of Prince Harry's new memoir. However, it has recently been claimed the book won't be published until next year. They were also criticized for holding hands while walking out you know, of Westminster Hall on Wednesday after a service for the Queen. Princess Anne's daughter Zara Tyndall and her husband Mike Tyndall also held hands as they approached the Queen's coffin as they exited. Miss Jeffries continued by saying, History is repeating in so many ways with Harry, whose grief as a child was owned by others. Once again, it's been owned again, you know, and he's being criticized for grieving in a way that others aren't happy about. It will be very interesting to see how history looks back of all of this and the narrative around it. Feminist commentator and author Jane Carroll, who was, you know, who was appearing on the morning program responded, I am actually really over the hate Harry and Meghan stuff. I think it's nasty. I feel like, can we all back off? Meanwhile, King Charles III will today complete his tour of the home nations as he visits Wales. During his trip to Wales, Charles is expected to face silent protests from anti-monarchy groups. The demonstration is expected to begin at 1 p.m. ahead of King's arrival, the King's arrival, according to organizers from campaign group Real Democracy Now. Following this, the new monarch will return to London, where tonight he will join his three siblings, Anne, Andrew and Edward, at a video for 15 minutes around the Queen's coffin in Westminster Hall. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.